There are a number of videos on the British Pathé channel on YouTube that relate to Mitcham. I have my own playlist which counts 24 in total. In this video I'm going to review Colt Man and City Gent, which has the year of 1967. The video runs for one minute. Before we start I'd like to point out that this is copyright material. But when I uploaded the Boxing Fever film, YouTube said it is copyrighted but the copyright holder permits it to be copied on YouTube, which is marvellous, because then I'll have a go at looking through all of the 24 in my list to see what else we can discover. The sequence of places in the film are not as if we're following a complete route. And I'm going to turn the sound off, and also I'm going to slow it down to a quarter speed, and I'll pause it at various points to illustrate where we are. Right, so first off, I'm going to set the playback speed to a quarter. I'm also going to turn the sound off, because there's a music sound dragon which will interfere with my talking. Right, let's get started. Right, first clue. The trucks have T. Dot Ball written on them. In the 1971 phone book, there is T. Ball, coal merchant, haulage contractor, 41 Gladstone Road, 01640-0998. Don't ring that number. Well, that's handy then. Let's have a look at Gladstone Road as a map. Forty one. There's forty one. That looks like a yard. That white building then in the background I thought was nearer to Bomb Road. There's a memory. Could be one of these buildings. From the former Old Union Workhouse. Yeah, it's Bomb Road over there, Sunshine Way. Okay, so that's Gladstone Road off of Western Road on the left hand side. Okay, back to the video. Yes, must be handy for getting cold deliveries if you lived in Gladstone Road. Moving on. The star of the show is a fellow standing in the middle. His name is Derek Nairn. And put it on the lorry, he goes up some wooden steps, made for the purpose. That makes sense, doesn't it? Marvellously done. And he's off. But he's not off from the coal yard in Gleston Road. Let's go back slightly. building is this. Just about to see a cross over here. I think this is Benedict Road and that's the Benedict School or the old Star School, the Lower, Lower Mitchum School. That seems likely. But the sequence of the locations is not chronological. In other words it's not here he is putting the coal on the truck and here he is moving off from Gladstone Road. There are different sequences being shown to get the story across. T Ball Coal Merchant says on the side of the truck. So he's heading down. Whoops, back a bit. Oh dear. Yes, and you can see the 
Music Row School there a bit better. Let's have a look at the current view to confirm those window shapes is what we're talking about. This is Benedict Road fairly recently. So I think he's pulling away there. We can see the curved tops of the windows and those two gables. Yes, he's in Benedict Road at this point. And now he's going along a road with housing. Recessed doors with a door with nine panes. Now we don't actually know whether this view is a continuation of the previous one. That could have been any street. But this is looking like Western Road. And the reason why I'm saying it looks like Western Road is that block there, which is an off-license, next to Fieldgate Lane. And is today still there in Western Road. Number 41 to 47. Let's have a look at the Ordnance Survey map. Forty-seven Fieldgate Lane. So those houses could have been those, but as I say, there's no way of knowing whether that's true. Let's go back to the movie. So I think that's 47 Western Road and Fillgate Lane's the other side of it. And so we're heading towards Collier's Wood from Mission behind us. And this trading estate is of interest because I believe that that's where a war memorial was. The trading estate, sometimes called the James Estate, bordered Bomb Road around the back there on Western Road was originally built as a workhouse for the Holborn Union in the City of London and the reason it was in Mitcham was when it was built in the late 19th century Mitcham was considered to be the countryside and the overcrowded poor of central London in the Holborn Union area were moved out to this location and this sketch is from a periodical called The Builder, dated October 23rd, 1886. And down here at the bottom is Western Road, and this line of trees marks Bond Road. And yes, it was considered to be a good location in the countryside. And what I'm going to point out is this entrance here. So there's, I guess, a vehicle entrance for horses and carts and what have you. But this is the main classical style entrance with this. It's called a pediment, this triangle on top of these columns. And there's the door. And I think you can just make out the triangle there, a kind of an archway. And you can see this low wall where it curves in a bit here and that's the current entrance to the trading estate from Western Road. And there is that little curve. And that little curve. And the workhouse was taken over in 1916 and turned into a military hospital. 
during the First World War. Basically, there was a huge hospital in France that were handling casualties from the battles. And when they were overflowing, they sent the troops back to England, to wherever military hospitals had capacity. So this is from my website. So 1916, and there was a memorial tablet. And I was told, when I was working on the World War One project at Merton Local Study Centre at Morden Library, that it's in storage. Let's have a look at the Merton Memories photo. This is the... This is a view of the entrance, not a very good photo, but there is that pediment, that triangle a bit on top. And there you can see, you can make out the curve of the wall there. And also to tie in with our YouTube video, look at those two chimneys. There are the two chimneys there. In 1967 I was at Bomb Road Primary School and I never walked down Western Road. So I don't remember this at all. And even if I did walk down it, I probably would have ignored it anyway, being being a youngster and stuff like that. Let's continue. Ah, straight away. Might as well pause this. This is the Star Pub. There's the graveyard of the old parish church. And here's our lorry coming down Church Road and turning into Benedict Road. Quick note about the name of the pub. I have an old book on pub names. And this is not definite, but it says that usually if a pub is called the Star and it's next to a church, then the Star is the Star of Bethlehem that is being referred to. So I suppose that the fellows who went to church on Sunday morning felt justified that they could pop into the pub for a beer because it was all related to the birth of Christ. So that kind of justified it. The other pub in Mitcham has a similar connection is the Three Kings. We Three Kings are Orient R, i.e. the Three Wise Men. Let's continue with the video. Can't make out the name of the road there, but well, I think it's Benedict Road. Quite well, a substantial building, really. When you see photographs of the front of it, you don't realise the structure at the back. Ah, that's clearer. You can actually see Benedict's there. So, in this shot, he's delivering coal to the Star Pub. So here he's going home to have a wash and a change into his city wear. Don't know where this is. Could be somewhere around Tooting. Hopefully someone watching this will recognise the doors. Number 46. No, he's the city gent, as in the title. Um, that looks like a school over there. Someone might be able to recognise it from that, from these distinctive buildings. So there you have it. That's Cold Man and City Gent 1967 on the British Pathé channel on YouTube. I have a list of 24 in total, so that's the second one I've done. The first one being the 1909 Boxing Fever. 
So, if you like this video, please click on that like button and consider subscribing so you can be kept up to date and find out when I do some more videos. As I say, I've got another 22 of these to do. Keeps you busy. Bye.